Good day, everyone. We are from BN3B Group 3A. I am Janela Roslimokon, and together with me are Laika Marie Madalag, Francis Lian Mamon, Regine Mapos, and Jal Tainan Melievo. And we're about to present a research study entitled Challenges of Learning Clinical Skills in an Online Environment Among Nursing Students. Majority of nursing education takes place in a clinical environment, making clinical exposure one of the most vital aspects in clinical teaching learning. Clinical learning environment is a significant part in developing professional skills and preparing students to become competent nurses in the future. However, with the online setup, several studies identify challenges faced by students in a skill-based course like technical issues, insufficient equipment, poor home learning environment, lack of laboratory access, limitation of contact with instructors and patients, need for feedback on performance and such. Thus, this study aims to determine the challenges of learning clinical skills in an online environment among nursing students of the University of St. Casal, with the envy of coming up with recommendation in further improving the nursing education in terms of its curriculum, teaching learning strategies, and programs. For the objectives, the study specifically answered the following queries. First, what is the demographic profile of nursing students when group according to age, sex, level, and status of internet connectivity? Second, what are the challenges of nursing students in online clinical skills learning? Third, what is the extent of challenges of missing students in learning clinical skills and online environment in terms of technical difficulties, learning environment, and lack of direct supervision? Fourth, is there a significant difference in the challenges of learning clinical skills and online environment among missing students in terms of the following will group according to the aforementioned four variables, technical difficulties, learning environment, and lack of direct supervision? The research design, descriptive design, was used as a sought to describe the significant difference between the challenges of learning clinical skills and online environment in demographic data. Survey method was used, which helped determine challenges nursing students face in learning critical skills online. For the participants, research was conducted on level 2, 3, 4 nursing students of USLS. Using Rousoff, researchers were able to get 263 out of 735 to be the participants in the study. Shotified random sampling was also used. Level 2 with 98, level 3 with 94, and level 4 with 61 participants. For the instrument, it is a researcher made and it has three parts. First is the participant's demographic profile. Second is the list of challenges of learning clinical skills in an online environment. Third consists of statements to know the extent of challenges of learning clinical skills in terms of technical difficulties, learning environment, and lack of direct supervision. The questionnaire was validated by the advisor with a mean validity score of 4.80. The instrument was also tested for reliability with a score of 0.786. For results and discussion for the demographic profile in terms of age, 21 years old and below constitutes the majority of nursing students with 185 participants, while 68 participants were aged 22 years and above. This shows that most undergraduates aged 20 to 21 are pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. For the sex, majority were female with 194 participants and 59 were male. This implies that the number of male nursing students are considerably low and are considered underrepresented. For the year level, level 2 had the greatest number of participants with 98, Level 3 with 94 participants, and lastly, Level 4 with 61 participants. This indicates that there is a decrease in nursing students as the year level progresses. As to the internet connectivity, the majority of the participants utilize Wi-Fi hotspots, followed by the digital subscriber, broadband, cable, and the least used is mobile data. It shows that the Wi-Fi is the most used in technological factors, the important aspect that affected students' utilization of the e-learning system, as evidenced by students being disrupted for their online classes due to internet problems. List of challenges, 85% selected lack of hands-on experience due to no access to skills laboratories in hospital as a major challenge in learning clinical skills online, followed by poor learning conditions at home with 49.8%, the absence of personal contact with classmates, clinical instructors, and patients with 45.8%, limited access to the internet with 43.5%, difficulty in managing technical issues with 42.7%, difficulty in communicating with clinical instructors with 36%, Lack of feedback on performance in clinical instructors with 31.2%, clinical instructors that are not supportive and responsive in resolving careers with 18.2%, and lastly, lacks knowledge of information technology with 13%. It shows that clinical application are inadequate and getting skill-based learning is challenging since the experiences that have gained from the field practices are limited. For the extent of challenges in learning clinical skills in terms of technical difficulties, learning environment, and lack of direct supervision when grouped according to the demographic profile as a whole, the mean score for learning environment is 4.03, which is interpreted as high, then lack of direct supervision and technical difficulties with 3.47 and 2.93 respectively, which are both interpreted as moderate. This indicates that the learning environment is the greatest challenge for the students to overcome, including limited space and facilities and disruptions at home.
for the difference in learning clinical skills in an online environment in terms of technical difficulty, there was no significant difference when grouped according to age, sex, and year level at the 0.05 level of significance. Thus, null hypothesis is accepted. However, when grouped according to internet connectivity, there was a significant difference with the p-value equal to 0.001. This implies that concerns with internet signals may constitute a learning challenge for nursing students, especially for those who utilize mobile data as internet connectivity. Thus, null hypothesis is rejected. In terms of learning environment, there was no significant difference when grouped according to age, sex, year level, and internet connectivity at the 0.05 level of significance. This indicates that the challenges faced by nursing students, regardless of the demographic profile, are the same. Thus, null hypothesis is accepted. In terms of lack of direct supervision, there was no significant difference when grouped according to sex and internet connectivity at the 0.05 level of significance. Thus, null hypothesis is accepted. Whereas there was a significant difference when grouped according to age and year level with a p-value of 0.002 and 0.000 respectively. This finding indicates that level 2 student experiences significantly lower challenges than other students. Thus, null hypothesis is rejected. In conclusion, most participants are 21 years old and below, predominated by female students, majority of the participants are level 2, and most utilize Wi-Fi hotspots. Also, nursing students experience high challenges in learning environment and moderate in lack of direct supervision and technical difficulties. Profile variables such as age, sex, and year level showed no significant difference in terms of technical difficulties, in terms of learning environment in group according to age, sex, and year level, and internet connectivity, and in terms of lack of direct supervision in group according to sex and internet connectivity, whereas it showed significant difference in terms of technical difficulties when grouped according to internet connectivity and in terms of lack of direct supervision when grouped according to age and year level. It is recommended that the university may conduct training among clinical instructors and other employees in terms of digital literacy. Also develop plans for students varying levels of internet connectivity. The college may focus on developing online teaching techniques which will focus on the improvement of lectures. Clinical instructors may establish teaching techniques that are engaging and interactive, such as soliciting feedback and showing how to properly use equipment on screen and demonstrating steps to early. Students may be given encouragement for sustaining and promoting activities, and future researchers may increase the sample size and expand the scope of the study. Thank you very much.